Hi, earlier I had created some videos related to uh, badminton's doubles and badminton singles. So there were quite a lot of quite a number of queries that I have resolved in comments itself, and uh, and and I have consolidated all the comments, and then um, I have I am creating this video so that everything is thing is there in one place, and also there are other previous videos which are where I have explained the lines of the codes uh, in a different video and how the points uh, work, what, how do we read the scoreboard, that all those things are there in different videos. So what I did here in this video, I have consolidated everything and then I have, uh, uh, I, I am trying to create and include each and every single thing on, in those videos, including the comments, questions they have asked and I have answered it. Uh, I'm including everything in this single video so that you don't have to switch here and there It's just there in one single place in one single video. So here I explain So what I'm going to cover uh, this is going to be the doubles um, doubles match uh, Having set one two and three here. I'm going to explain these these uh, points So these points are uh, so Yeah, these are the points and um, I have also explained this video in Hindi um, and uh, the URL or the link is there in the description below. Um, so here, um, uh, we will understand the lines of the code. What is the even odd rule? Where will the, where will the player stand when a particular uh, person or team serves? What will, where can the opponent stand? What are the valid areas of this of of uh, to serve, and uh, how do you read the scoreboard, and um, who will how will you win a point? Like what happens when you win a point, and uh, uh, um, whether the shuttle drops here or there, or uh, is it going to be the second serve or the second partner? Even if you lose a point, here I'm going to discuss here at this point. And um, when you win a point, what where will you stand? What will be your position in the court? Where will be where will the opponent stand? Will they change or not? And um, what happens when the shuttle touches the net? Is it valid? Is it invalid? Whether it crosses or not? And all those things. And um, what happens when the rackets bang together while playing while there is a rally going on? And uh, what will happen when there is a deuce situation happens? Like um, points uh, in a ma points in a game is for twenty one, but not necessarily that it ends in twenty one. It can go further as well. That I'll explain. So so and what happens in the situation of deuce? And uh, is crossing or touching the net valid or not? And uh, when do you consider a team wins? Like, is it on 21 or is it going to go further? So there are two cases. Well, there are yeah, multiple cases, two or three cases. Uh, it can end in, on 21. It can end uh, on 23, 24, 25. It can end on 30, but it will, it, it will never cross 30. And uh, when, one, uh, when, when one game or one set is over, who is going to serve for the second set? And uh, <clears throat> is it going to be... Like which player is going to serve? Definitely, it's going to be from the winning team. But which player is going to serve, and which player on the on the opponent's team is going to pick um, the serve incoming serve? So all these things I'm going to explain in this video. So let's set it up. So let's understand what is the odd even rule. So assume we have got uh, two different teams. One is the Jupiter, and the other is Saturn. So so say the team the uh, the Jupiter team has come. And they are facing the net. Jupiter. So if I am standing here. My right hand is on this side of the court. Left hand is on this side of the court. So let's assume. Let's take it into consideration. That right hand is always even. And left hand is always odd. So 0, 2, 4, 6. All these, all these numbers are even. Though, though 0 is not even. Neither even nor odd. So, but let's consider zero as even for now. And the uh, odds are one, three, five, seven, and so forth. 
and this is the way you stand if i'm standing here my partner is standing here i'm standing on the even side my partner is standing on the odd side my right hand is even so it's even, this even is here my left hand is odd so this is odd here and same exactly same thing happens for the opponents as well for the opponents same thing even right side even left side odd so just remember this for now so i'll clear it I'll clear it um uh further in upcoming minutes so if even if 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 jupiter wins the toss yeah and they are planning to serve so the person standing on the even side will serve to the even which is diagonally opposite right so what is the valid area where this person is going to serve from so this particular box the inner box including the extension on the side this is the valid area where, where this guy serves from and the receiver this is the valid area exactly the same area for this guy as well is going to be the valid receiving serve area um in i can explain it like this as well so this is the receiving end and this is the court dotted lines are the court so the only valid area where the where the receiving shuttle should come valid receiving shuttle should come is this box see these are the dotted lines these dotted lines wherever it drops it is going to be invalid which means these guys are going to lose the point and same thing and and if it drops anywhere on the line as well then also it is considered as valid same thing exactly same thing goes for this guy he has to serve from this area exactly the same area yeah and there is for doubles and singles it is it is almost the same thing there there's only one difference which i'll show it to you right now and for doubles the whole area of the court within these external boundaries is used always there is no single place after the serve that uh, that uh, any area is invalid every area every each and every part of the internal court of the external lines is valid so this is what i showed for um, doubles or singles because everything is going to be the same like how do you read the score how do you get the points is exactly the same the only difference is the valid areas of uh, of singles so which i'll show it to you right now so exactly the same quote uh, structure but i have scratched these lines the external ones these will never be used in singles so what happens the so same even odd rules uh, apply, uh, rule applies here and this is what i showed for doubles and this is for singles so to serve if this guy is serving from even then it will be this area which is which is valid for the server so this area in doubles it was it was this this area was also also included as valid area but in singles this external line will always be invalid and while serving this this extension which is on the further side is also included so this is the this is the serving area uh, like where can you serve from and exactly same thing happens where can you where can you get the valid receiving serve so this is the area and the this one is not included it is included only in doubles whereas this extension on the further side is is included so this is the area and once the once the server is written once the service has been returned the whole area which you which which you are seeing here apart from the one that i you know marked it with red is valid and anywhere it if the shuttle drops on the line anywhere then it will be valid during the rally whereas anywhere in this particular area uh inside this area and on the line the shuttle and the serve is valid yeah so let's continue with the uh, the doubles scoring and all those things whatever points uh, i have mentioned that i will be discussing so the setup is done 
So these are the two teams, Jupiter and Saturn. Jupiter has got has got two players, blue and yellow, and Saturn has got red and black. And this is the doubles Jupiter Saturn scoreboard. Yeah. And we have got set one, two, three, one, two, three for both Jupiter and Saturn. So when we start, it's always starts from zero, 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 or set one. So so let's take the game further. They do a toss. Jupiter wins the toss and Jupiter wants to serve. What is the current score? Zero, zero. We always read it as whoever serves and then who is taking the serve. So because Jupiter wants to serve because they win the toss, so it's zero, zero. Though it uh, at the moment it is both zero, so it will not, you'll not find the difference, but you will understand a little bit later. So here, zero is odd. Uh, sorry, zero is even in the Jupiter side. So the even placed person is going to serve. On even side, blue is standing. Blue is going to serve now. So blue, where will the blue serve from? As I mentioned blue is going the serving area for blue one blue is this the external you know the extended uh, box plus the inner box so blue can serve from anywhere here 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 but the only thing is he has to be inside this particular valid box and positioning wise where can the other um, players stand anywhere they like Blue, uh, yellow can stand. He, yellow is his partner. He can stand anywhere, wherever he wish to, wherever exactly he wish to. And these, black is a player who is going to receive the serve. So black is black can also stand anywhere. Yeah, anywhere. This guy can also stand anywhere. But the sensible thing would for black would be to stand somewhere where he can pick the serve within this particular box. See, it doesn't it, it it doesn't make sense. Like if black is standing here, it's still valid. But shuttle is going to drop here or here or here somewhere during the serve, then he cannot run and get the you know pick up the shuttle and to return it and return it back. So he has to be sensible and he has to be somewhere where he predicts that he, the serve is going to be serve is going to come. The only issue is that the only thing that we need to consider is say blue is serving from here and yellow is standing right in front of him so the vision is getting blocked the vision should, should never be blocked he will never come to know or he his his uh, vision is getting obstructed by um, yellow so yellow cannot stand in front of in front of uh, blue cannot block the view of black so let's start the game so zero zero <coughs> jupiter is serving so zero 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 is even blue is serving so this is this is a shuttle i made yeah just for the illustration purpose so he serves and black couldn't you know get get the serve properly and he, he he's unable to, he get the serve in the valid area but he is unable to return it he's unable to return it so that means this this guy or this team wins a point so what is the points now what are we going to do? So it is going to be one zero. So because they serve, that's why we are we are reading it as one zero. So one zero. Now the simple rule here, these uh, 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 in the new rules, new rules. I mean, they are they are there for many years now. Whenever you win a point, you have to switch. So they are switching. So they switched and now they switched the current score is one zero see because they won they are serving so that's why we are reading one zero we are not reading zero one we are not reading saturn to jupiter we are reading jupiter to saturn because jupiter are serving jupiter served yeah now what is the what what is the new score one zero they are serving what is one one is odd who is standing in odd? Blue. So blue is going to serve again. So blue served. 
Red received it. Rally going on. Rally going on. And black hits the net. Again, they win a point. So they win a point. After winning, what happens? Switching happens. So they switch. So they win a point. What is the point now? And they win. Point is 1 plus, which is 2. So 2, what was their point earlier? 0. Now the reading is again 2, 0. So 2 is even. Yeah. Who is standing on the even? Blue. Blue is serving. Serve to black. Black to yellow. And yellow hits the net. And these guys win a point. Because yellow hits the net. So they won. A, they, they got a point. So what are the points now? It's 2, 1. Because they got a point. So now, how are we going to read the score? So the very first thing is, once his serve is broken, blue's serve is broken, then it is not like yellow is also going to serve. The, those were the old rules. So the simple rule these days, these days is, you have to, you can serve only once. Uh, one team can serve only once. Because the moment you lose a point, the 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 control or the serve goes back to the other team. So so now this team, the Saturn team, is going to serve. So it's not like he lost the point. So his partner Yellow is going to serve. No, those days are gone. So they already lost. His points has been increased by one to Saturn. The scoring we were reading earlier was two one, but now. Because Saturn is going to going to serve, the score reading will be opposite. Whoever is serving, we have to take that um, a person's point, that team's point. So score reading will be one two rather than two one. What is one? One is odd. Who is standing on the odd side? Red. So red is going to serve diagonally opposite to the other team, which is to yellow. And he served, comes back, rallies, and he smashed. And they were unable to pick up to return back the serve. They were unable to return back the serve. And now these guys got a point. So the score will be. One, three. Did you see how I write? I was earlier. I was writing two, one, two, one, one, two. Now I wrote one, three rather than three, one. So because now the serve is going to be uh, moved to the other team, which is Jupiter is going to serve. So Jupiter is going to serve. The reading will be Jupiter Saturn. So what is the score? How do we read it? Three, one rather than one, three. 3 is odd, odd is yellow, yellow will serve. So this is how it goes on like until until the game is over. So there are few things that I can um, uh, I can discuss here like um, what happens when uh, at the, the current score is 3-1, he's yellow is going to serve and yellow served, yellow served and this is the shuttle and shuttle touches the net but still it crosses and lands into the right area and red returns it back and rally continues so is it going to be valid because it touches it, it touched the net while uh, while yellow was serving yes it is valid it doesn't matter uh, unlike tennis because in tennis if you if the ball touches the net for the first time when, when, the, when the player serves then they have to play a let they have to replay the serve but here in badminton touching the net when the shuttle touches the net in any condition it is always valid so just for example he 
uh, red standing far behind he served it uh, shuttle touched the net and drops here still he gets a point it doesn't matter whether it is uh, it touched the net or or not so the points will be 4 1 and and they will switch because they won a point so four is even so you'll start from here yeah and one more thing now he serves he serves it goes there comes back and while this shuttle was coming here say for example this is blue's racket while it is coming high up here what blue thought okay let me go in front and smash it here crossing the net and smash it here itself before it reaches our boundary the moment this team's uh, uh, the blue players racket crosses net it becomes invalid straight away so the ideal rule is your your racket cannot cross the net forget about touching touching if you touch the net it is definitely invalid it is it, it, def, it is definitely invalid you will lose a point if you touch it but if you cross the net without touching it trying to you know play the shuttle before it even you know comes into your area then also it is invalid so you have to be careful and you have to be careful about this rule you cannot cross it and you cannot smash it or you cannot play the shuttle before it arrives in your area yeah so he crosses he crosses the net and uh, smashed it there in their area but umpire called it as invalid and these guys won a point again now the score is 4 2 because they they got one point and and the serve comes back to these guys how do we read it now it's saturn jupiter because they are going to serve saturn is going to serve so the, the points reading will be 2 4 rather than 4 2 2 who is on even 2 is even who is on even black black is going to serve yeah now black served to yellow yellow returns it back and then he red red gets it red returns it back and the shuttle is right there in between here so they they got confused and they both hit both tried to hit and the racket banged so what happened when the racket banks when the players rackets bang each, bang with each other so banging is not a problem at all if the racket banks and the shuttle hit only one racket either blue blue players racket or yellow players racket then it is still valid banging is not an issue at all it is the shuttle if the shuttle touches only one racket then it is fine but say if both of these are player both of these are playing that point and banging happens but during that banging the shuttle hits both the rackets he tried first it hit the net somehow he missed it. it it hit the shuttle somehow he missed it but he touched a little bit of a feather from the shuttle and then he hit it back so the shuttle has been hit twice by two rackets that is invalid if it if it is it if it has uh, hit by only one racket it doesn't matter how many number, how many times your rackets bang doesn't matter the the main thing is your the shuttle should hit only one racket the moment it hits two rackets invalid you lost a point so the point goes on like this i'm not updating this point so i'm just moving moving ahead it goes like this and what happens they reached 20 and these guys are on 16 yeah so once again 20 is even even yellow yellow will serve and gets the point again they are on 21 and these guys in 16 done they won so here the simple rule is that 
there has to be a point difference of two points the moment it touches while while any of the team team is on 21 they can win only if there is a point difference of two so 21 this is 16 clearly 16 17 18 19 20 21 there are there's a point difference of five so this guy this is clearly two points and 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 jupiter wins saturn loses so here set one ends and jupiter wins set one what will happen in set two so in set two first of all in set two there is always there is always the case in 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 the next set they swap the position the whole team swaps the sides so these two are going to come here the jupiter is going to come here and saturn is going to go there just to make it fair that one side is not uh, uh, you know having any kind of advantages where the light is coming from here or this is slippery and all so so giving a fair chance to the other team so these guys go there and this one's good so i'm not moving it because otherwise i have to scratch jupiter and write jupiter here saturn i have to write it there so let's assume that set two started and they have swapped the sides now set two starts with zero zero yeah so jupiter won set one so there is a there, there is a rule that whoever wins the previous set they are going to serve so jupiter is going to serve again now the question here is there there were some questions which i had in my previous videos like who which player from the winning team is going to serve so last time 20 was it was yellow and yellow served and won the point so he got 21 yeah so is it going to be again uh yellow because ideally it will be 22 but it starts from 0 0 so will it be yellow or is it going to be what and where and who where will the opponent stand stand how will how, how will they take it like is it going to be black who is going to receive it or, or red going to receive it based on where they were standing in set one no according to uh according to the rule 11.6 i guess in in badminton rules when you win a set the next set starts with whoever wants to uh, definitely uh whoever is the winning uh team from set one they will serve but it doesn't matter who serves it from the winning team so it could be yellow it could be uh blue if blue wants to start then blue will come to even if yellow wants to start yellow will come here and opponent teams as well it's the same thing it doesn't matter who wants to start who wants to start receiving it it could be black it could be red wh whatever whoever wants to do it they will have to start from even obviously starting will be from zero zero so it has to be like whoever is receiving here and whoever is serving here should be here yeah so the game started and uh, and it and and, and re it reached say 20 uh, 20 20 so this is the deuce case that happens 2020 is deuce so basically it is 21 21 which is deuce yeah what happens when uh, so jupiter was winning so jupiter jupiter was winning and jupiter got the last point it was 1920 and jupiter got now got the point it is 2020 so this guy is going to serve 2020 and wins the point again 21 20 so see jupiter has got 21 but still they did not win why it's because of this rule two point difference the moment it reaches 21 at that point there has to be a point difference of 21 this is 20 and this is 21 point difference is just one point so that's why game continues and and this they they they, were, they continued the game and uh, now these guys got a point 21 21 again it keeps on continuing the moment you reach there is a point difference of two you will you will win again they got a point this is 21 again they got another point 23 21 at this point 
they will win because the point difference is 21 well let's let's let me make it uh 22 21 and they they lost uh, they lost a point and this is 22 22 now they got a point again 23 this is on 22 still again they got a point 24 and this is 22 now saturn won because there is a point difference of two two point difference saturn got the second set and third set and second and jupiter lost the second set so this way i can demonstrate the third set as well where there is a third way of winning so again again what happens uh, it continues the uh, this thing game continues they have to swap the sides again so these guys come back here again and these guys go there and set 3 continues so what happens is because saturn won saturn is going to start from here they started and they started playing and the score started from zero zero and it continued it continued so this is say uh four five it continued seven four again eight four so here there is a twist a little bit in third set always there is a case that whoever reaches point eight they have to swap the sides again just to make sure that this is the third set running there is no you know issue of uh, there is a better side that only one person is only one team is getting so that's why if these guys has got eight or whoever reaches eight first swapping happens of the of the sides so these guys go here these guys come here and game continues because these guys have got eight they, they went on that side so um yeah and whoever is on the even side because they reached eight will serve again yeah so they won again which is nine four and game continues like that but the the difference here is Say, say they reached to a point where they have crossed 21 and still, still there is no, uh, there is no point difference of 2 that is happening there. So, they reached to a point which is 28 and they are 29. Again, uh, again, one more point they played. Now it is 29, 29 again. And in this particular case, it can go up to 100 points, 500 points if they never receive a point difference of 2. Just to break this thing, they have, in, uh, they have introduced a point called golden point. So this golden point is called, um, is, 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 it, it can be achieved at point 30. So there is no game in badminton that can go beyond 30. I mean, I'm talking about normal matches. There are different medley and uh, uh, medley kind of matches i don't remember the name now so that goes you know i think yeah it's 30 30 so they cannot go more than 30 whoever reaches 30 first will be the winner it doesn't matter whether there is a point difference of two or not whoever reaches 30 first they will they will win the set so again it happens they gets the point at the end 29 so they will win it because they reached 31st set, set 3 has been you know taken by jupiter and this is this even though there is a point difference of only one still they will win because the 30 is the golden point yeah and this happens only when when these two teams in this in this set cannot get a point difference of 2 after 21 yeah that's the end so let me know uh, if you have any questions um, put it in your comments and uh, i will try to answer it yeah